Good morning, it's day 25. Last night I hiked until about 10 and then I did some stealth camping at a park that I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to be at. But um, I'm up early, I'm out of here. It was nice, I had toilets and places to put my garbage, garbage cans, picnic tables. Um, and uh, Andre carried on night hiking. I guess he hiked all night. <laughs> I wasn't prepared to do that. I just wanted the experience of night hiking. And it was okay. I probably wouldn't do it again. Everything was on high alert. My footing, um, all the shadows that I saw with our headlamps, and I was already tired. But I did 27 miles yesterday. <laughs> I, I didn't even keep track until the end of the day how many miles I did and then it showed 27 and I need to slow it down a little bit. So today my goal is just to get to McDonald's <laughs> and there is hotels uh, at the town that I'm going to um, and I may spend the night and then just get up super early tomorrow. and. I hate using the word super and I just did and get up early tomorrow and um, and continue on but we shall see what the day brings this is a really big area gonna walk the road a bit to meet up with the trail. Goal for today, hmm, 10 before 10? <laughs> I don't know, that's lingo for uh, 10 miles before 10 o'clock. I don't know if I can do that, I'm not a fast hiker. We shall see. So I was thinking, I don't think I would do 27 miles all by myself. And I really believe that you have to surround yourself with people that are more skilled, stronger than yourself sometimes to progress. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's what we all do as kids, we, you know, have that grown up that teaches us or whatever. And as adults, we still need to do that. I have a really good friend who is a fitness competitor. She rocks it in the gym. And every time I train with her, she makes me lift heavier weights than I thought I could. She gives me a dumbbell or barbell and I was okay here you go and I'm like oh my god but I do it she she knows I can do it and then I push that weight and I do it same with you know hiking with these two fit European guys um you know it's just walking and they're stronger and they're not doing it for me I still have to put in the work but they're um kind of leading the way and i think a lot of times we have our ego gets in the way we don't want to ask for help or we don't want to follow that stronger person that will make us better in life i know that's how i've come as far as i've come in life is uh, just surrounding myself with more knowledgeable, stronger people. And then sometimes you have to do things by yourself and figure it out on your own. And then sometimes you have to reach back and help somebody else. You know, again, you're not doing it for them. 
you're not giving it to them you're just saying okay this is what they are looking for and this is what they want and I'm talking to myself and there's people okay you never get any privacy on this trail there's always somebody so a little backstory when I was in grade eight still going into grade nine uh, high school that's when the teachers come together parents come together and they try to decide um, the classes that you should take what level you should take so my mom not knowing the system she just listened to the experts and they put me in um, a basic level high school program so you have basic general and advanced now the kids that were in the basic program they're not stupid kids maybe I would say most of them just didn't give a shit about school and maybe had more like authority or behavioral issues than actual learning issues so it doesn't make sense to me why you would group them all together and they feed off each other and they just don't bother they should have been put into at least given a chance put into general program meet other kids that do give a shit about school and set the bar higher Um, and who knows, they might have done better in school or in life. But if you set the bar low, it's pretty hard to come out from under that when adults don't really believe in your potential. So anyway, I was in the grade nine basic program, but I didn't want to go there. I knew I could do better. So grade 10, I went to the guidance counselor and they said, no, put me in advanced sciences because I like science and then general um, English. So that's what they did. And um, that's how I uh, just got better. I surrounded myself with people that gave a shit that cared, that wanted to do well. Not only my hearing loss affected my learning, but I was in and out of school a lot for doctor's appointments, surgeries, and um, dental appointments. So I missed a lot there as well. Uh, my last surgery, I was 16 years old, and that was it, that was the last, I had enough. <laughs> That was like surgery number 15 and um, it was a major plastic surgery but my face was like somebody took a baseball bat and just beat the crap out of me. Um, it was so bad. I was in the ICU for five days because I couldn't breathe. I had a tube down my, my throat into my lungs because the swelling was so bad. Funny story, my sister's boyfriend, who's now her husband, came into the hospital to see me with everybody else and he fainted. He, he, he kept standing behind my mom and she kept trying to move out of the way because she thought she was being rude by standing in front of him. <laughs> all I hear, and I'm drugged up, like I don't know what's going on, but all I kind of hear is, Peter, Peter, are you okay? <laughs> and he's on the ground. Uh, 
Anyway, those are my thoughts for the day. You think a lot on your walk. Okay. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna make my 10 mile by 10. I'm too busy talking, taking pictures and videos, stopping. supposed to hop over this and go that way. Ugh. Oh, I'm walking slow today. I'm a little tired. Uh, I have, I don't know, three more miles till I get to Cajon, which is a hotel, and McDonald's and Subway and town and all the rest of it. More this goes all the way down. <laughs> this is not intimidating at all. The trail into Cajon Pass is actually really pretty. It was intimidating at the top, but they have all this grass and these big yellow flowers and purple flowers and birds. The trail is nice. I'm about a half a mile away from the road that leads to McDonald's and then somehow I gotta get to Cajon uh, Pass which is like a little town where I have a hotel. So I'm just chilling out here on this rock. I could push for another half a mile and get it done but it's so nice out. I can't check in anyway until 3 so I might as well just like rest. Mountains. 